Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brooke and today I'm just going to share a few kind of scary stories with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this sort of thing. I really do. I love watching story time videos and listening to other people's stories in general, but I really like scary stories too. And my dog Daisy is actually laying on my lap. Um, I'm sitting on the floor because she was I was trying to film this earlier and she was laying on my feet and it was killing me so I just decided to flop on the floor and sit with her so if you guys hear anything or see hear flopping it's her flopping on me she keeps laying her head on me she's a lab so she's a bigger dog so you'll probably hear her moving around or you might hear my kitty in the background with her little bell collar so anyways I just wanted to point those out before I get started my story so the first story I want to share with you guys isn't the scariest story but it's just something I wanted to share because it's just like I wouldn't say it's like paranormal or supernatural it's just really weird um, maybe paranormal in a sense so I used to be a florist and I was a florist for three years and I worked with one of my really close friends we met on the job and we just became really good friends. She's still a very close friend to this day. I love her to pieces. Her name's Letty. Letty, if you're watching this, hello. <laughs> but um, anyways, we worked together like every day and we had the most fun. Like we were just, we worked good together, but we were friends. We would hang outside of work. We'd go to lunch together. Like we just really hit it off. Anyways. So where we worked, we worked downtown and it was like the historical part of um, our town and the way it was set up was in old buildings and so our floral shop was on the main street and um, it was like a one-way street downtown and it was very busy and above our flower shop was an apartment and our boss would rent that apartment out and there was a group of guys that lived up there that were not the coolest and uh, nicest of guys by any means and we'd have to deal with them on occasion but um they're punks i guess that's the best way to put it and they finally moved out and my friend and i we were like the whole flower shop was excited and ecstatic that they were moving out because they're just uh, annoying <laughs> we'll just put it that way and one day my boss, who asked us to do things a lot of times that was outside of our job description, she wanted us to go up there and get, I can't remember what we were supposed to grab. They left some things behind and she wanted us to grab them and bring them downstairs so the guys could pick them up. And we're like, yeah, sure, no problem. And she wanted us to go up there with her. So she went up first and then my friend Letty and I, my co-worker and friend Letty and I uh, walked up and we're going up the stairs and I got up there and there's a certain spot when you get upstairs by the stairs that I don't know how to explain it I felt like so much hate in a way and fear and just this very dark ugly feeling and I don't I'm not like crazy or like I don't believe I'm not a psychic I don't believe in psychic stuff I don't I don't believe in like crazy things like just I was having this really weird feeling and it it got me to the point where I couldn't even like really want to move and our boss was like oh can you guys help me come get this stuff and I was just like uh-huh uh-huh and I Letty wasn't saying anything, but I didn't want to say anything to her because I was just like, she's going to think I'm weird, you know. So I went and I grabbed, went by the window and we were grabbing these books and stuff. And I was fine once I moved, but then when I got back to the spot, it came over me again and I could hardly breathe. Like, it was just this extremely weird feeling, just a, a lot of anger, hate, and just fear, like, all mixed together. And I was like, what the heck? I've got to get out of this place. So I just started heading downstairs and so did Letty was ahead of me. She went first and we went downstairs and for probably a good half hour, she didn't say two words and neither did I. And I was just sitting and thinking like, what the heck? Like that was such a weird experience. And 
I'm sitting there when her and I are both like cleaning flowers and we've got our knives and we're cleaning our flowers and um, I look over at her and she's like really quiet and I keep thinking I want to ask her but I don't know like I wanted to see if she had a weird feeling up there but I didn't say anything because I didn't want her to think I was crazy because I thought I was crazy too and then finally she's like cleaning her flowers and she looks up at me and she's like Brooke I have a question and I'm like yeah. She's like, did you, this may sound weird, but did you get a weird feeling when we were up there? And I dropped my knife. I was like, what? And she goes, you did, didn't you? And I was like, yeah. And then we both like started saying things at the same time. Like, and then we go, yeah, right by the stairs and like we're saying the same words at the same time it's not like I'm saying oh it was by the stairs and she's like oh yeah yeah that's what I thought too no we were like by the stairs like saying things at the same time and she dropped her knife in the flowers and came running up to me and hugged me and she was I'm scared I was like that is scary that we both had that same feeling in the same spot of the apartment and I was just like this is just weird like one it was weird that I felt it two it's weird that she felt it and it's just crazy so our boss walks in and we didn't want to bring anything up but we were just like yeah that apartment's kind of creepy that's all we said we didn't want to like offend her or anything and she's like oh yeah it is pretty creepy there was a guy murdered and we're like what and she said someone had murdered someone and we're like where was it at and she's like it's right in the hall right by the stairs it was the same spot that Letty and I had had those feelings and it overwhelmed us to the point where we had to get out of that apartment when she said that it was like the icing on the cake for her and I Letty and I were just like in total shock like how weird is it that she had the same feeling I had the same feeling and we had the same feeling where that murder took place like we didn't even know there was a murder that had happened there no there was a murder that had happened there like how crazy is that so that is my first story I wanted to share with you guys because it's not it's not super scary but it is really eerie and like I don't know if you want to call it supernatural or paranormal. I don't know what to classify that as. But it was one experience that I will never forget. And those feelings were so real and so intense. And it just blows my mind that her and I had those same feelings in the same spot someone was murdered. And we didn't even know. We had no knowledge that there was a murder that had ever taken place. Or even in the same spot. So pretty creepy. So that's my first story.